Hey what's going on guys, Destructinator here, and today what I have for you guys is another Black Ops 3 best class setup. This time we're going to be taking a look at the M87 Burst Assault Rifle. Now the M87 is the last assault rifle you unlock, I believe it's the last gun you unlock in Black Ops 3. You get it at level 55, so you have to get all the way up there to get it, but it is a very, very good weapon, similar to the M81 from Black Ops 2. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like. Let's see if we can hit 50 likes on this class setup, I would really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new as well for more Black Ops 3 content, I'll be uploading a lot here in the next couple of weeks, so get excited for that. Alright guys, let's move into the class setup for the M887. The first attachment you're going to want to use is the quick draw. You know, I'm a big fan of using quick draw on assault rifles. It lets you rush with them a lot more than you normally would be able to because you can ADS faster. So I would definitely put a quick draw on this M8. The second attachment we're going to be using is the stock. Again, sort of the same thing with quick draw. If you're going to use quick draw, you're going to use stock. You can aim in faster and strafe side to side. That way people can't hit you, especially important in longer range gunfights when you're using a burst weapon. Now the third and final attachment you're going to need primary gunfighter for this one, guys, is the rapid fire. The rapid fire is probably the most important attachment attachment out of all these three. It's very, very hard to use the M8 in this game without rapid fire. It's a different gun than it was in the beta. It fires extremely slowly. So in order to get those bursts off faster, you're definitely going to want to use rapid fire. Moving on to the perks for our perk one slot, we're going to be using perk one greed because we want two perk ones. The first is going to be ghost. Make sure you stay off the minimap, stay stealthy, especially with a longer range gun like the M8. Always a good idea. And the second perk one is going to be flag jacket. Make sure to protect ourselves from those grenades. People are going to be trying to nade us out of our spots. We don't want that to happen. So we put flag jacket. The perk we're going to be using in the second slot is scavenger i feel like i run out of ammo with the m8 a lot on this game especially compared to the one from black ops 2 so i would definitely recommend using scavenger so you never run out of bullets now the third perk we're going to use is tack mask now this is pretty much the same idea as flag jacket if we're going to be holding down a spot at longer range and someone tries to flash us to push up we're going to make sure we have tack mask so they can't do that all right guys hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did again please be sure to drop a like it really does help me out my name is destructinator and i'll see you guys later